So moving on, uh, another thing that we need to keep in mind is it's a preliminary assessment of the current state situation that is to be validated by the project team or the stakeholder. So two things which you need to keep in mind, these are the guidelines that a problem statement is a brief statement of the problem to be solved, including the magnitude, the gravity, the quantum of the problem and the impact of the problem on the business. Second, while defining a problem statement, it's a kind of a preliminary assessment because there are some data collection which needs to be done, uh, which, which currently talk about what is the current state situation, which is to be validated by the project team and the stakeholder. What are the things which we should not mention in the problem statement? We should not mention the potential solution in the statement. Okay, so if I have some hypothesis or if I think that this could be the potential solution to the problem, I should hold it to myself because this is a Six Sigma project and I don't know the solution to it. I, I might have some uh, preconceived notions which I believe that this could be the solution, but that is not. Second is a prejudge of potential causes. So I, I also should refrain myself from mentioning what could be the potential cause. All these things would come in the, in the, in the next stages, which we'll be doing it later. And any speculation or based on an assumption. So as the name suggests, problem statement should only and only talk about the problem. And as I said earlier, it should have four W and one H. Okay. So I, I hope it's making sense to uh, us. Now let's ask you a question. Okay. Is this a good or a problem, poor problem statement? If we get a survey and wherein we get to know that our customers are angry with us and late in paying the bill, do you call it as a good problem statement or a poor problem statement? I'm sure you must be saying it's it's a poor problem statement. Let's see what all are missing here. This is an improved problem statement. In the last six months, 20% of our repeat customers, not first time, are late over 60 days paying our invoices. The current rate of late payment is up from 10% in 2014 and represent 30% of our outstanding receivables. This negatively affects our operating cash flow. So if you just notice in this improved problem statement, there is a presence of 4W1H. It has all the key ingredients, the components at which we just talked. And there is no potential solution in the statement. It is not talking about any kind of a potential causes. Okay. The earlier problem statement, which you looked at, our customers are not happy. It is not defined that which customers are we talking about? Is it the repeat customer or is it the, it, does it cover all the customers? It doesn't mention that why they are not happy. What is the reason behind that? When I'm saying reason, it means that what is that key thing that which they're not happy about? Okay. There's a late payment that they're talking about. Also, it is mentioned that from 2014 till now, okay, it has improved from 10 to 30 percent, which is which is not a good sign. And the impact is also mentioned, which says that it negatively affects our operating cash flow. So this is a perfect good problem or an opportunity statement for us to proceed. Okay, so now it's an exercise for us, and let's let's see what this exercise says. This is creating a problem statement. So we have got. The Toronto underwriting office had started to notice that over the last six months, the average turnaround time for processing life insurance applications has grown by an estimated seven days. Upon investigation, it is determined that many applications for life insurance are being half completed and that incomplete information is generating a call back to the advisor to gather the required data so that the underwriter can make an accurate determination on coverage. Advisors are becoming frustrated with the process and it's leading to delays in the approval of life insurance for their clients. Okay, so this is something that we have got and let's see what how we have created it. We are experiencing a problem with incomplete life insurance application. It is occurring for the last six months. It's a problem for underwriter because without the information they can't make an accurate determination or coverage. It is causing underwriters to follow up with advisors 
that is causing seven day delays in application approvals and causing frustration for it. So there's a difference between the problem statement mentioned at the top and the problem statement mentioned here. In this problem statement, it is a clear 4W1H presence. It is also call out the impact of the problem also. So we should always look for these kind of problem statements, which has the presence of 4W1H. Okay. Now we are going to talk about the goal statement, which is very, very important part of the project charter in the defined paper. Okay. As the name suggests, goal statement is a desired result which we want to achieve on the completion of a project. So when we are preparing a business case or when we are preparing a project charter, it is not only that we are mentioning that this is a problem, this is an impact, this is uh, since this the problem is there, but it is very, very important for us to mention that where do we want to reach. Okay. And when we say where do we want to reach, we talk about a smart approach which should be a part of every goal statement. Now let's get into the detail that what is smart here. It's an abbreviation, okay, wherein S stands for specific. Your goal statement should clearly define and easy to understand or objective. Measurable, it is easy to easy and cost efficient to measure. Attainable, it is influenced by the team. Relevant. It, it links to the overall business strategy targets and time bound, it is captured at specific intervals. So which means a problem statement should have smart presence to ensure that we would call it as a strong goal statement. A goal statement should always start with a verb, okay? Like for example, to improve, to increase, to decrease, to reduce, to eliminate, okay? So, so that's how this problem goal statement should always start. 